Okay, welcome to the second video in the series, So You Want to Be a Computer Technician. We're going to talk about a couple things that you're going to need. One of them is, is a good place to work. If you're working out of your house, and I'm presuming you're either working out of your house to get started or you've got a small office space somewhere, the, the biggest thing you've got to do to start a small business is keep your expenses down. So you don't want to run out and grab some amazingly ridiculously expensive internet connection or buy all this equipment that you don't need to begin with. The internet's a great resource. There's a handful of books that you need. Um, there's a few tools that you need, but most of them is a very sharp mind, a flash drive in your pocket, and some gumption. So in the first video we discussed a couple things. If you haven't seen that video, you need to go back and watch it. Uh, assuming that you've got those, those personality traits in the bag, uh, we're going to move on, and one of the things that you need is a good, dedicated place to work. My office in my house uh, is the size of a small bedroom, and I can work on five computers in here at any time, not including the three that I use to uh, troubleshoot things on. And then downstairs, I actually have a space that can handle up to about nine more. So I actually can work on more uh, computers than most uh actual computer stores can. I've done this for 14 years. I've actually owned a computer store for two years and with the economy taking a dive the way it was, as soon as we got to profit and we were getting excited, the economy took a dump. I decided to get out. I'm actually making better money working out of my house and running around that way by far than I was the other way. So uh, again, you're going to need a good dedicated space to work. You need an ability to switch it off at night. Um, the first year or so that I worked for myself was very difficult because I would get work and I was making ridiculous demands on myself. I would finish a computer, uh, wasn't charging enough for it, and then I would deliver it the next day. And it was really a demand on my family. Um, I was very, very hard on myself about getting it done quickly and getting it back to the customer instead of establishing some realistic um, timetables. So that was one thing. Next you're going to need is a book, and it's called Windows Command Line. If you don't have a firm understanding of how to use the quote-unquote the old command prompt, what, what used to be DOS, you need it. You absolutely need it. Um, it's going to affect how you work on everything from XP up to Windows 7 and beyond. Um, it used to be that Windows was a little island in an ocean of DOS. Years and years ago when I started, there was just DOS. Now it's more like the other way around. It's like a little island of command line in an ocean of windows, but command line still runs the show. So basically, I was able to uh, to work with a customer that needed their firewall permanently disabled in Windows 7, and I was able to remote into their computer earlier today and actually systematically disable all of the profiles for that firewall. They're inside a protected network, and the firewall kept re-enabling itself without their permission. Command line enabled me to do what even the registry was not allowing me to do at that point. So command line can be a very, very beautiful thing. So again, this book is called Microsoft Windows Command Line. It's a must have. You need this book. And then you want to come over and you'll see uh, below the video that you're watching, this is actually about Java, but below the video that you're watching, there's a drop down. You'll click it and there's a link directly to the book so that you can not only buy this book, but I can save you time looking for it. So anyway, that's our, our second video. Stay tuned for our third one and our fourth and fifth. We're bringing out more. You're going to want to subscribe because I've got some really cool stuff down the line that I'm going to be telling you. If you're if you're already working out of your house or you're thinking about working out of your house, you're, you're already in a storefront and you're thinking about growing it, there's things I can give you that are tips that might help out. So anyway, check out this book. You're going to want it. Have a good day. Bye.